Hello everyone, welcome to AI Crack channel. So recently I have been getting so many queries about how to prepare for PGDB interview and I cannot answer each one of them individually. So that's why I thought to make a video for the same. Although I've written blog about the same topic, but I think I should add few more points which I think are uh, very important. So let's get straight to the discussion about how to prepare for the PGDB interview. Now there are two aspects about this preparation. So one is academic or informative. The other one is behavioral. So the informative part is covered in the blog. The informative or the academic part is covered in the blog. I have provided the blog link in the description. You can just click on it and you can check it. Now talking about the behavior part. So I'll go point by point. So let us first talk about the synchronization part. What do we mean by that? So we have a form and we have interview. Why do we have to fill the form before the interview? Because they get to an idea, they get an idea about what kind of profile do we have. Also, they get to know that whatever we have written in the form and whatever we are speaking in the interview, they both are syncing or not. So they should actually sync. So what people usually do is they try to exaggerate things in form, but uh, they are not able to justify that exaggeration in the interview part and that gets them a rejection. So my suggestion would be write only those things in the form which you are very comfortable with and which you are very confident with. Don't try to exaggerate stuff in the form which you cannot explain or justify in the interview part. So when you follow this, the synchronization part will come automatically. Now let's talk about the second point, which is objectivity. Most of the candidates appearing for PGDBA interview have also appeared for MBA interviews. And these two interviews are significantly different. In case of MBA interviews, you have to be very diplomatic in your answers. You have to consider all sorts of conditions while giving your answers in MBA interviews. In case of PGDBA interview, you have to be very objective in your answer. You have to be very straightforward to the point and precise in your answers. That is what is expected in PGDB interview. So while giving answers in PGDB interview, try to frame answers in points. Be very precise about what is being asked. Don't try to add additional stuff which is not being asked in the question. Also, there will be few questions in the interview which you might not be knowing. So in my experience, even if you are saying no in two out of 10 questions, then also your interview is totally fine. This is totally acceptable. If you're not able to answer two questions out of 10 questions, you shouldn't panic for your interview. Now the third part is length of the answer. Usually what happens is whenever we are being asked a question, we start with some pointers, but then in most of the cases, we tend to go with the flow and keep on adding points, points, maybe some paragraphs. And that actually bores the interviewers. So what you have to do is you have to answer a question in just one to 1.5 minutes and that should be fine. The overall length of the standard interview is approximately 20 to 22 minutes. And that is for most of the cases. In few cases, it can extend up to 40 or even 45 minutes, but that is a rare case. But in most of the cases, the interview will last for 20 to 22 minutes. Not more than that. So you'll have to frame your answers in one to 1.5 minutes. Don't try to explain unnecessary stuff in your answers. Be precise, be straightforward. Give the answer in points. And the last but not the least, anticipation. Now, what do we mean by that? So usually what happens is even even in written examination, we try to predict what kind of examination, what kind of paper we are going to get in, in interviews, the same behavior continues. You don't really have to do that because they can throw surprise questions to you. And if that doesn't match with your anticipation, 
you might start panicking and uh, in case of a written examination you can control your panic but in case of interview it just cascades so don't go with any kind of prediction about the interview like my interview is going to be like that my interview is going to be like this you don't have to do that too you have a probable idea what kind of interview you have to get and you have prepared according to that only but still you don't need to predict anything for sure what kind of interview you are going to get the reason is last year there were few cases in which uh, people were asked very standard questions and there were few cases people were asked random questions and uh, even though with the random questions people still got selected because they didn't panic to these to those questions so don't anticipate don't predict the kind of interview you are going to get for pgdb just respond to whatever the kind of questions you are getting there and that is it so this was all about the behavior part of the pgdb interview again i have written a blog for the informative part for stats linear algebra general knowledge all sorts of links are being there just check out the link in the description that is all from my side thanks for watching